What up, people? You're in the Boom Boom Room with your host, Ron Slade, special guest today, um, legend. And, and first of all, man, get your drinks ready. You know what I mean? We ain't going to hold y'all too long because I know y'all want to get back to the regular season games and got the playoff game coming up soon. You know what I mean? But we're going to do this the right way. You know what I mean? When, you, when it's a story like this, man, you can't rush everything. You know what I mean? So we, we're going to let it happen. But I want y'all to tune in, man. Cat from Richmond. A real dude, first and foremost, you know what I mean? Before we even get to the talent or anything. Um, I met him, and I remember um, Coach Smith calling us in the, in, the, in, the, in the office after we hooped. And Coach Smith like, hey, man, what y'all think? And I remember me and Travis looking at each other like, shit, get him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get him. We can't have enough firepower. You feel me? So I remember Cliff telling us about it. Cliff, I'll salute my boy Cliff. But I remember him telling about us. But I remember Coach Smith being like, man, we got Steve we got Steve Blake already. I'm like, hey, man, Coach, we can't have enough firepower. Damn all that, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, things that work out. But, you know what I mean? From that point on, man, I knew who he was. And, and his name started to ring bells. You know what I mean? This was him as a sophomore. So, you know what I mean? I ain't even talking about junior, senior year or none of that. You know what I mean? I just remember that that part. And I remember people telling me about his signature move, this, that, and the other. But this is a real one, man. This is a real story. That's what we try to bring to you here in the Boom Boom Room. So before I bring him in and let you know who he is, let me show you a little clip. Further ado, man, the legend, former <laughs> pro from McDonald's All American, man, the, and, and most definitely street ball legend, and more, more than that, a great dude. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? A, a guy that can stand on his values. You know what I mean? To stand on his mistakes, ten toes down, accept them, and push through. My guy, Jonathan Hargett, man. What, what, what's happening with you, Jay Hart? Man, cool it, man. How y'all doing, man? How you doing, Slay? Man, I'm good, man. Great to have you on, dog. Yes, you know what I mean? We got a couple people checking yeah. in from DMV. You know what I mean? They 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 um they locked in with it. So, you know what I mean? You got some home crowd people in, you know what I mean? And then most importantly, man, we got people in the South. You know what I mean? That I didn't even know, you know what I mean, they knew who you was, but I had some partners in Texas hit me up, some partners in Alabama, some partners in Florida. And then um Marquis Daniels hit me up the other day and told me, um, Make sure he tell you what's up. He was like, oh, man, you got my guy on. Hell of a, hell of a talent. You yes, know what sir. I mean? So yes, sir. I said, I'll make sure I do that, man. But, Boy. man, it's, your name ring bells down here, dog. Your name be, ring bells down here, man. That's, that's something you can stand on, bro. So we got, we come in. Make sure y'all got your drink too. You know what I mean? Because we drinking on here. You know what I mean? It's the boom, boom, boom. It's unfilled. So. Yeah. We're going hey, to make me a drink. I need a drink. Yeah, there we go. There we go, right. Hog. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? drink. Get us to that level. You know what I mean? Uh, Phil Goss. Phil Goss. Phil Goss from D.C. He said, I've always, always been a fan, bro. Salute. So we got people coming in the comments yes, and stuff. You know what I mean? I'll try to read them at the end. You know what I mean? And if y'all got questions, we'll answer. But we just we just talking, man. So, uh, Hog, man, start at the beginning. You know what I mean? Your Your lifestyle. Your, your upbringing, you know what I mean? Who are some important people in your life? You know what I mean? It was four of y'all brothers, right? Yeah, it was it was five. Five? Five. Okay. Yeah, I'm the fifth one. Okay. I'm the fifth one. And I had a sister. I got a sister, too. Okay. So you so you so, Yeah, so, yeah, man, we, we had a, we had a household full, man, full of ballers, man. Um, 
that that was that's where it started, man, man. Right. With Bruce, just watching all them go, just watching all them play Mike. Right. You know, then it was Sam, then it was Tim, then I'm the baby. So by me seeing all that, right, I had to pick up the pill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You pick up that pill, man, and fell in love with it from the get go. Man, from what age you think it was that you started? From the, moment, from the moment I can pick it up, man, I, I ain't never put it down. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Yes, sir. And that right there, man, was a vehicle to take you plenty, plenty places. You know what I mean? Provide plenty of opportunities. Um, talk about some of the people that influenced you. You know what I mean? That that you were growing up. For my, for me, and I was growing up, man. Anthony Mason was one. Rest in peace. Um, he was big time down here at Tennessee State University. Carlos Rogers. Uh, there's some more local guys, but Ron Mercer, um, Dante Jones, you know what I mean? All, all people that I was able to grow up with and touch, you know what I mean? I was able to see out there on the playground. Didn't, didn't get to hook with them right away, you know what I mean, till later on in life, but there was people that I got to see, man, you know what I mean? Who were some of the people that influenced you? Man, like like you said, man, a lot of college players, man, we grew up watching. Right. Um, like, I grew up watching everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I feel like I'm a sports am uh, uh, almanac, man. Like, I know a lot about different levels of basketball and what comes with, who the coach, where, did what. Um, a lot of people that influenced me and coached me to that to that status was, like, my brother. Mm -hmm. um, my brother Mike Hargett passed away. He went to George Mason and, and transferred his senior year and finished up at VCU. Right. Man, he was very influential in my life. Um, his best friend, Lawrence Walden, mm -hmm. was, an, um, was a two-guard um, at Holland Springs. Went on to have a successful career um, at Christopher Newport. Right. And um, I think he played some over, um, overseas ball. Right. He got a son that's doing well. Like He's, he's just a very – I had some very great mentors. I, I, it's, some, it's a lot of people I'm – probably forgetting it. Right. And I'm I'm not gonna shout them out, but it's a lot of people. They know who they are. They play they pay the real dividends into mm -hmm. my own existence of being Jonathan Hardy, man. For real. And that 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 goes with me too, man. I'm the same exact way. It's like it's so many that they come up, man, that <clears throat> over my, my lifetime, dog, I was the oldest of seven on my mom's side, the oldest of six on my dad's side. So both single parent homes and both and man, it was it's, it's there's so many people to play the factor from the boys and girls club director to, you know what I mean, a referee that might even see something here now and then, but coaches along the way, uh, brothers and everything. But that, that's big, man, and that's something to lean on. The, right now, um, the kids that are growing up, you know, you, I know you are mentoring kids and, and, and doing some skill training and stuff. What you think the biggest difference is right now? Before we get into your story, I just want to know the biggest difference is right now between kids now and the era that we grew up in. I say, of course, um, the talent, mm -hmm. the talent is kind of different. Um, listening, man, like the, the like we we listen a little bit more to detail, man. We we'll shut up. You know what I'm saying? We'll shut up, man, and, 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 and dig deep. These kids right now, just today's society, like, they just give up so easily. Like, it's just so easy for them to go venture off and do something else because that's that's what, you know, we done paint. Like, we done made it so easy for them. But right. at, the, at the same time, that's the big that's the big difference, man, I see. Like, we wanted, we wanted to get out and go outside and shoot. To our, our legs hurt into our <laughs> arms, so we got poking the eye, twisting angle. We won't come back until we felt like we were satisfied. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? And, and like that hunger just don't exist sometimes. Right. But these, with some of these kids, you see it. You see it automatically. Like he got that dog in him. Like, mm -hmm. But then it's something that you like, man. I wish, I wish, I wish right. he clicked one day for him. Right. I think, man, I, I get to see that a lot too, man. And that that hurts me, dog. I'm like, golly, dog. You know how. How much you could have if you would just listen, man. That's being able to tap. I think that's man. Salute to Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace, man. I think that's one of the biggest things that he left with us, dog, was being able to tap into your resources. Like to me, that's huge, man. Like you'll be coaching. Like I find myself coaching kids. You know what I mean? And you look up. I have a partner come through and talk to them, and they'll be like, "Man, do you what you know about him? Your coach?" And they'll be like, "You know what I mean? He coached. He used to play like." Now, you don't even really know the history of the game. 
You know what I mean? He don't know mm-hmm. the people that you around and the influences that he got. That I can pick up a phone and be like, hey, man, hey, hog, I got a young one down here, man. You need to get him up on your AU team. Like, it's calls like that that can be made, but I can't stick my neck out there for you if you ain't going to listen. You know what I mean? So exactly. I, I, exactly. Think, I think you hit that on the head. That's big time, man. So getting back to your store, when did you when did you get the acclaim? Like, up there in Richmond, I know it's a lot of talent up there, especially in that area, period, not just in Richmond, but all around it. Um, Willie Taylor said salute. Um, he said, um, what's, oh what's the talent – what was the talent that you came up with? You know what I mean? Like, what was some of the some of the names that, you know what I mean, that, that was in your era? I know definitely, um, you know, guys like Melo and people like that, you know what I mean? Y- y'all were all in the same class, but what were some of the other guys that you came up with? Because you were top 10. But before right. we even got to that level, when did you start to get that spotlight? I say, man, growing up, going, um, going and playing in the Kennedy, um, Mm-hmm. Playing all around Richmond, not being afraid to display my talent. Um, it was a lot of times, man. My older brother would like for me to hell back and not, and not, um, and not like let me display my talent. Like he'd be like, "Man, you shouldn't be there. You shouldn't, you shouldn't play there." Right. But he let loose, and then when he let loose, he seen that man. It was, it was different. It was different time zones. Like the times had changed from why how he was playing. Right. Yeah, now, now, yeah, we, yeah, now, we drink drinking in the boom boom room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she, 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 she coming off the computer now, so she, she like, she brought me some water. I'm like, no, I don't want no water. I don't want no water. I need some, some, some holy water. Yeah, right we'll here. hydrate later. We ain't trying to hydrate right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but real talk, man, Straight like, up. Mike, man, Mike really showed me, man, he showed me that, you know, it's, it's a different time, man. It's a different time. His, his time zones, because he, when he went his freshman year, mm-hmm. he played against Indiana Bob Knight, right. and so you know his his, his time his his bag change was different than my right. own. You know what I'm saying? So right. it was just different times, and I think he's seen that, and, and that helped me out a lot by him letting me go fish. Because it was one time he took me to the Union, he took me to Virginia Union debacle. I'm gonna I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna tell you this quick story. Okay, he yeah, took me to the Union. He was like, look, man. Play against this dude, and this dude named Parkaway. And see, I'm giving Parkaway love because Parkaway helped me out a whole lot. And he he don't think I he don't think I appreciate or even know right. how much he helped me out. But now he gonna know. Right, but that's real. He a defensive specialist. He like he like Mateen Clean. He like one of them dudes that just want to get on his skin, just right. want to work you, work you, work you, work you. Right. So bro knew that. Older bro knew that. I never even seen him. Man, look, man. Parkaway picked you. me up in full court. Man, and like we playing the eight in the buckle. He played the eight. Yeah. This dude, every possession was picking me up full court. I'm like, man. So I had no choice. I had no choice. Yeah. I had no choice. I had no. It wasn't like, you know, like today. So you can choose. Like their parents be like, man. It was like it was no choice for me. Yeah. Gotta I had get it. to. Gotta had go to. Get it. Yeah. This man picking you up 94 feet. Ain't no time to hold back and just pick your spots and all that. You know what and I mean? The debacle 105 degrees in the summertime. <laughs> yeah. Ben Wallace come there and train in the summer. Uh-huh. That's what he that's what that's what he was getting in when he was playing for Detroit. That's why he was so agile right. in the summer. Every, every season. Dude was working out like an ox. Yeah. Yeah. That man played every game. That's cool. Every game, and they probably brought like six shirts. Yeah, every shirt, switching up. drinks. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Hey, so before we, before I ask you, and you can think about this right telling the next door. Um, tell me a little bit about the Kennel League, man, because down here in the South, we done heard about it. You know, what I mean, this is this is rich in tradition, kind of like the Rucker League is. You know, what I mean, the carry. The name ring bells, you know what I mean? I always done heard about the Kennel League. And people that didn't, you know what I mean, here's a chance for you to explain, especially down here in the South. Because we got our we got our own things, you know what I mean, going on. But there's certain situations and certain games and certain leagues that you hear about where you're like, damn, man, you know what I mean? I need to I need to get up there and see what that's about. So tell me what the atmosphere was like in the Kennel League. Oh, man. So first pro-am I ever played in was, of course, Richmond pro-am. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was no, it was nothing but love. Uh, we had all the NBA players. Right. But the second pro-am I played in was a, co- a college pro-am uh, called the Kenneth Pro-am. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And it's the Canada Pro and they got the um that's what Kurt Smith, Steve Francis, they playing in the NBA um journey. And we played in the car this one. So in grade um God rest his soul, John Thompson used to sit in the corner and mm-hmm. watch all the games. For real. Every summer, every day. He sit in the corner and it's up is in the auxiliary gym of Georgetown. Yeah. And my senior year, I my man, my man Mike White. Um, my homeboy Mike Anderson, you know what I'm saying? They had a team and they allowed me to play the point guard for the team. Right. I wound up bringing my brother Tim Hargett. He wound up playing on it. And um, Mellow, Mellow, that's when me and Mellow, that's my second, that was my second time playing. That was, I played against them the first time. This mm-hmm. was my second time meeting them. And then we played together. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when I seen. How good that boy is. <laughs> you seem a little that, different right there. I, the first time, the first time I seen the 30, I was like, who man, I don't know, man. That boy, that young boy. I right. knew he was special. Right. I knew he was going some place. You know what I'm saying? I knew that. But man, that's when he played with me, yeah. it was like every pass I gave to him, he was hanging on the rim or <laughs> shooting a tray. It was yeah. It was it was amazing, man. Yeah. It was a you like it was. It was like seeing like Ali, man. Yeah. Like, I ain't never seen Ali, but I can imagine people be mesmerized like how I seen Melo play, man. That man was different. Six nine, six eight, six what? Six seven, six eight. Two. Do what you want. He could give you what you want. Everything. And so that that's that was the Kennedy League, man. I, I got a chance to see the NBA crowd, a couple of NBA games while I was bouncing back and forth in between my games in the gym. And I just I just love that atmosphere. Shout out to DC, man, because that that at that Georgetown, that district over there, man, when they when that thing was popping, it was just different. Just yeah. different, man. Yeah. And they they still we love to this day, like yo, you gonna come make it in the kennel? Right. <laughs> that was that, that was fifteen years ago, yeah. man. Like so. Yeah. Me and Mellow, man. Shout out to Mellow, man. He really, really, really. He a real one, man. Showed me some things, man. He a real one, real. I'm gonna be real, man. So, salute to Melo, man. I'm that's my um. I plan on getting the wrapping wrapping it up with Melo one of these days on the show, man. And I'm I'm gonna tell him, man, like that dude, was, right there, man. That. You talking about a real one, man? I remember I went to quick store too. I was uh right there in Denver about to work out um mm-hmm. with the Nuggets for summer league, and um this when Melo out there, Kenyon Martin, all them, you know what I mean? And I'm out there about to get it in, and we about to scrimmage. So Melo finna come scrimmage with us. He don't even know I'm out there. Um, but when he get out there, I, we had met at Oak Hill before. You know what I mean? But out there, I ain't expecting them really to remember me. You know what I mean? But you know, it's, it's a family. You know what I mean? And the Hoop, see, the Hoop family is small anyway. So you remember faces and shit. So we get out there. We get ready to jump ball. And me and him sitting in center court rapping. You know what I mean? And he was like, man, he told me straight up like, I got you, man. Just do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to make a way for you. I ain't promising you anything, but. I'm gonna try to make a way for you, and, and a whole lot of shit changed immediately, right then. You know what I mean? I could see after that scrimmage. You know what I mean? As far as them getting me on meal plans and all that, I'm just out for summer league. You know what I mean? And I was like, man, I was real, because he ain't have to do that. You know what I mean? And every other time right. I see him, I remember they was in the Western Conference Finals against the Lakers, and um, they won at LA. I think it was Game Three. They won at LA, and uh, he was doing the interview. So I walked down there. I'm with my old lady. I'm like. I'm gonna go down here holler at Melo real quick. This is probably about three years after the summer league shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, I'm going down there and holler at him, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna tell him, make him remember who I am. You know what I mean? Before he was finna get ready to go down, they cut the lights on and everything. And he told him, I'm under the rim, like, Melo. And he told him, hold up. This in the Western Conference Finals. You know what I mean? Me holler at my man. And came over there holler at yeah. Hey, man. And as as a real one, that was that that meant a lot, man. You know what I mean? Because he could have. Went on, did his interview, got on back. This man in the conference finals, man, ain't got no time to be hollering at me. You know what I mean? I ain't even really talking about nothing. I'm just hollering at him. You know what I mean? Man, you don't find people that do that, man. So, like me, no, yourself, man, man no. it's, it's some real ones out there, man. And you, you got to respect that when you run across them. You know what I mean? That's why, you know what I mean? You got to salute them cats, man. Lift them cats up, dog, because them few and far between, man. I'm going to be honest. Definitely. You know I mean? Definitely. So, that's that's your that's your Definitely. your memories of the killer league, man. Um, so let's talk about getting ready to go to high school, man. You went to, you went to four different high schools, I think. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, talk, sir. Talk about the transition in each one of them. Cause uh, you kept doing your thing at each, 
at each one. You know what I mean? They're, they're, the gameplay never fell off. You know what I mean? You know, so talk talk about that. You coming into your own in high school, you know what I mean, and, and, and take me on that journey. Well, I went to Holland Springs, started off freshman year. Um, freshman year, I did something magical mm-hmm. in the state of Virginia. In Richmond, I think in 40 years, there's never was a, I don't think it was a freshman name, um, first team, all Metro. And I think I got the nod, I got the nod. And, and it, I think, no, I'll take that back, man. It's probably like 70 years. Like, yeah. it was, it was a, it was a long time since that mark been broke. Right. And my brother had finished playing in Metro, just finished playing in the same district, same high school. And he was never able to achieve that, you know what I'm saying? First team, all right. metro. You know what I'm saying? He's always he was always second team or all defensive mm-hmm. team. He never got first team. None of my brothers, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um and that was a heck of an accomplishment, man, right there. So I um I took that and ran with it, man. Freshman year, I think we finished out twenty four and two at Holland Springs. I wound up leaving my sophomore year. Right. And wind up going to Mount Zion. And Mount Zion, that's where, I think that's where I seen the man, you separate the man from the boy. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Hold your, hold your phone um, down a little I, bit for me, Hog. All right. Hold the phone down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there we go. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, I seen, I seen, I seen where the separation was like vividly, like right. drastically, like, man, like, man, like, we had to bring it every night. Right. Every single night. Um, and then for me to even get on board, I had to prove myself because, like, you even know the situation. I, I think I was, I, well, I was ready to go to Oak Hill first. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, like, um, the, I think by y'all being so successful, mm-hmm. how y'all was successful, like, year one, year two, I think y'all was working on three, like, right. three back, like, back yep. to back. Yep. And um, by y'all being so successful, man, like, Smith was loyal to y'all, and I felt that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and when I replay it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he like he shouldn't have kicked nobody off. You right. know what I'm saying? But that's just a, that just we all was already defending national championships, mm-hmm. and y'all he was willing to put me on that team. Yes, so that speak highly of y'all. And then, exceptionally on my talent as well. I'm coming from a, a public school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going to a powerhouse. And this you was and a I sophomore. Was, is that as a sophomore, not even finish my sophomore season. So that 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 right there should let people know alone what my talent was. Mm-hmm. And then like for real, Steve was like, man, just just pay the scholarship. Just pay right. scholarship. And I don't even think he wanted me to pay. It was just like something on the scholarship. Right. But my mom was like, man, nah, you know. And then the people that was in her ear, and mm-hmm. you know, she, you know, we went with Mount Zion. Right. And that's how we got. Man, but it was supposed to be been okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was that I wanted. That's Cliff. Cliff was my dog. That I remember was, it vividly, was, man. I remember man. it vividly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like once I read like everything what was going on, I was like, man, I gotta be a part of it. I wanna be a part of that. Like right. everybody going to school. Right. Going to what school you wanna go to. Like, right. nah, I, I need that. Yeah. I need that in my life. In the structure part too. Right. That I really want get that in my life, you know what I'm saying? And Mount Zion, it, it, it really did it, but it was, it was it like, it's the difference between, you know, in the middle of nowhere in Virginia mm-hmm. and in the middle of somewhere in North Carolina, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. And that's what it was. It was kind of like, it was kind of like, we was living right behind the ghetto, right. you know what I'm yeah. saying? North Carolina, yeah. Going to a prep school. People don't even know the struggles. Like, some nights we didn't even eat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was... It was it was it was real it was a pit it was a real pit stop. Like it was people don't know the nights I was like, man, how I'm gonna do this, man. I wanna go back home so right. bad. Like I'm <laughs> sixteen years old, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like and that's when I say that joint Mount Zion let me know, you know what I'm saying, the man from the board. Mm-hmm. That joint separate. Mm-hmm. And then we then we got y'all on the schedule, we gotta play y'all, got man shit. <laughs> yeah. Man, it was, that, I remember. It was real. It I was remember. real. Yeah, I remember. That was that was that was some cold time, man, and that was some cold hooping. Like, I remember, man. Like I told the story before we came on, man. <clears throat> Cliff had already Cliff had already hyped us up about it. Like, man, hey man, hey Joe, we finna get we finna get my man 
oh, Jay Hong and this, that, and that. I'm like, man, who is it, man? You know what I mean? Like, you know, because at the same time, we protecting what we done built, too. You know what I mean? We like, man, come on, man. We set this, that, and the other. You know what I mean? Um, so we like, man, all right. Then Coach Smith told us, man, he finna, he finna come up here. He gonna hoop with us. Y'all see, see what he got and don't take it easy. You know what I mean? So me and Bubba like, hey, man. Listen, ain't nothing coming to the goal free. Like I'm, I'm telling you, like, and I remember it vividly. You know what I mean? I get Travis on here later, and I'm gonna bring it up. But I remember it vividly, like it ain't nothing coming to the home. You know what I mean? And then we got Cliff out there on the perimeter. Him and Little Terry, we like, man, y'all get at him. And Steve, listen, dog, he coming for your spot. Like we got your back. Bro. You gotta, you know what I mean? It's mano y mano. You gotta hold your own. We got your help, but you. I know Steve won't have it. The more I get. <laughs> The more I be getting to know Steve, man, yeah. Steve got a lot of hood in him, man. So much. Real, man. Hey, Hoggy, there's so much. People don't know a it. A whole though. lot of hood in him, man. <laughs> hey, man, straight up, dog. Straight up. So, I remember, dog, after the hoop session, we didn't know Coach Smith, man. And Coach Smith was like, what y'all think? You know what I mean? And we was like, man, Travis looked at each other like, hey, man, you got to get him. You got to get him. Like, it ain't yeah, no, you know, it didn't so, call Cliff or nothing. We used to Shit, man, like <laughs> doing the game. I think the game West Virginia. Oh my God, man, yeah. that game. We talked so the guard play. We talked so much shit. That's the game. I, I I wanted that game so bad. I already man. know it. <laughs> I want cause I was like, if we beat y'all, man, we made history, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it wasn't like y'all wasn't talented. Y'all had a they ball. Won, they won with it. Yeah. Cause y'all the first time before we before I came y'all beat them by thirty. Yeah, y'all smacked them out Cali. Y'all yep. smacked them. Yep. And then it was like they was like, well, you know what I'm saying? We won't focus out there, but man, then we got a chance to see y'all. That joint was crazy, man. Yeah. I, I, for real, man. People don't know that that environment, that whole setting, that whole game, mm -hmm. that was big for everybody. It sure was. Everybody. It sure was. It sure was. That was our best game of the year. I'm going to be real. Like, we walked away from that. Y'all like, beat us by, like, four. Y'all beat us by four. Yeah, like, yeah. Something like it was down to the wire. It was about. Hold your phone down, Hog. Yeah, it was. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was a I real live battle, man. Real live battle. Definitely. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I, and I, the one thing I remember, man, this is the difference now, Um, I think, than in, in, in the talent and in, in the way kids play now. Going into that game, we wanted to tear each other head off. But, you know what I mean? We would have fought or whatever in that game. But walking away from that game, without a doubt, it was respect on both sides, man. I, I, and I remember that, man. I mean, I, I remember Marquise, you know what I mean? Me and Marquise got tighter because we ended up going to Auburn. You know what I mean? Like, it was it, it was love. Big Garnett, man, I ended up kicking with him in college, you know what I mean? So, like, and they, man, they had just as much time. Nigga couldn't even be mad about that game. You can't, right. be, like, you can't even be mad. You couldn't be mad about that game. Right. Like, because that's where you had to play basketball. Right. Like, it won't know. It won't know, man. You can have this play. You can have no. You had to play. Right. You had to know how to play ball. Right. Right. Everybody was trapped. Everybody. Show everybody. Us. So was. So was. Everybody in the nation was trapped like that. The mouth was strapped in at that time. With Bogan and Forte, Thomas Dominguez with Tyson Chandler and uh, Marcus Moore. So it was it was top to bottom. Uh, after that year, after your sophomore year, what'd you do your junior year? Junior year, man, I was I was contemplating on if I was going back to Mount Zion or not. So a lot of stuff was going on with the pastor and the head coach Joe Hawkins and um, you know Mount Zion um, was we were thinking about leaving Mount Zion. Mm -hmm. And I wind up sticking it another year at Mount Zion because Joe wind up staying another year because he brought me into the picture. You know what I'm saying? So I, I won't gonna leave unless he left. Yeah. And so I wind up, I wind up saying, uh, I think y'all, um, I think y'all bounced that year. I think y'all that was the year y'all bounced that, that next year. Yep. And um, I wind up, I wind up having a successful career. At, like a, a nice year at uh, Mount Zion. I think we went 24, 23 and one. Mm -hmm. We lost the game that we should have won. We was up 17 in the second half and we lost it to a team. I don't think they lost a home game probably like three or four years in Charlotte. Right. You know what I'm saying? But 
we should have beat him. It was it was due to the fact Joe Hawkins ain't coached that game. He didn't even come with the team. Really? We had our assistants coach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, we should have won. We choked. And um that was that was our role. Like if we don't lose a game, you know how it is to get to the final four. You gotta be a certain right, certain um seed, certain uh rank. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that jump knocked us out of the top 10, top top eight, something like that. And we could never, you, you can't get back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Once you lose. And that's what happened. We lost. Yeah. And, that, and it was no way for us to get back. So the 11th grade year was a, it was a straight, it was a straight, like, it was a stepping stone. It was something that we needed. But we was, we, we wanted to be in the national championship. We wanted to be in the national championship. We had to see. I think, I think that was the year, yeah, that, that was the year Mar and Jerry Jack was on my team. Mm-hmm. And we definitely should have won it. We definitely, we definitely should have won that jump. It, it came down to uh, coaching, man, in that fourth quarter. Yeah. And we and we laid the egg. Like, I don't know. We got out of, I don't know, man. That team, that team just started hitting a lot of buckets. Yeah. And that gym got rounded. Yeah. It got real rounded. And like, we choked. Yeah. We choked. Up, we was up 17. Up 17. And that was the, that was the season right there. That was, mm-hmm. You can't get back from that. You know what I'm saying? And then um, the, after that season, approaching the 12th grade season, we we thinking about starting school, and we wind up do starting school. It's yeah. called Emmanuel. Okay. And I think we got the um, – on, I don't know if you remember, but I think y'all had just won it the 11th grade year, finishing up the two times, and – and I think by him, by Joe and, and Pastor Plummer starting that new school, yeah, we was I think we was t- like tied with y'all neck and neck for one or two spot mm. in the opening of the, uh, of my twelfth grade year. Yeah, with Oak Hill. And yeah, that, and that was crazy. It was crazy. I remember Steve Smith having he had an article about that joint. Oh, well, he had he had he had mentioned a lot of a lot of stuff. A lot of a lot. He had said something like. We ain't gonna play y'all like you know what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all got a y'all got a mob over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And I think that's when y'all had just left. Y'all yeah. had just left. Like Travis. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying. But long story short, I think we was tied for like one or two when we started that school. Yeah. But the school wind up folding and wind up folding, and we never we never could get the season off the ground. So everybody. That was on the team had to go back to their collective high school or wherever choose uh, that was a school of their choice, and so I wound up going out to um National Christian Academy out on Fort Washington, Maryland, okay. and fin- I finished out there. And, and and like you said, man, that's how I wound up going to four different high schools. It would have it supposed to have been just hot springs and all that. Yeah, but but damn, what when Joe when Joe said let's go to this school, man, we start this school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My loyalty is, is yeah. it was with Joe. You right. know what I'm saying? And, um, and why not? I was I could have went to any school in the country. Um, Without question. Without like, question. Real, that man paid the way. He you paid the way. Like I could have went to LSU, got the bag there. Right. Um, I could. I like it was it was to my liking, man. And, and then like you know, it's to 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 circumstances after my senior year, um, finish up at NCA National Christian. Mm-hmm. Finished up. We we had a nice season, man. We had a great season, one of their best ever. I think that's why I got them. On, it's not on a national, but they was they was nationally known. Then you know what I'm saying? Like they could schedule any game in yeah. the country. Then, they put the spotlight you know on. That's when, and that's when KD was like, man, he ain't put, I ain't put, I ain't put this team, I ain't put the school on my job and hard. And I think that's when my name had resurrected again when he had said something like. And then this has been people like comment like I think Nate Nate might have said some resurrecting me a little bit you know what I'm saying it was just man it's just been love man yeah. and I, I, I ain't even know it was a lot like Nate man I did I, I ain't even know he was paying attention yeah so what I was doing my senior year man you know and I'm just glad people noticed yeah you know what I'm saying and that's so it's still right. so you get the you end up being top ten in the next in your in your class. What was yeah. that? What was that achievement like once you got announced you was at McDonald's? It was. It was. Man, it was surreal. Yeah. Like something I worked so hard for, man. Um, like you never. Like back then, when you see me play and see me jump, man, at, at that height, 
Mm-hmm. You know, it, it was it was it was it was kind of crazy. Like people didn't didn't believe it. They didn't, like they didn't believe how high I was jumping, but people don't know who I was growing up watching and playing against. Right. I, I grew up playing against Cliff Hawk. Right. Um. Um. Rashad Roof. Rashad. Um, <laughs> My God. Uh, yeah. James White. Yeah, flight. Man, like these. Flight, man, like it's it's, it's, it's it's like these are the people I was growing up every weekend, every other weekend throughout the month. I'm going to play against these dudes, <laughs> yeah. and they bring in their county, they they city, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they bring in their best. Mm-hmm. Like it, we had to go, man. People don't know why and how I got to that, man. It was a lot of years of just grinding AAU, right? Grinding AAU, street ball, right? You know what I'm saying? Nonstop, just balling, right? Never giving up. And then I think, man, in, in, in that era, in that era, one of the differences is, man, that that's different from now and then is at that point, man, like you having to go play week in and week out against different cats like the guys you just named, and it ain't no, it ain't no, um, no highlights floating around. It ain't nothing but your name echoing, like, man, we got to play against John Hard. Uh, yeah, I heard about him. Let me see what he's talking about. And you got to go out there and. Set the stage, you know what I mean, and you might not, ne- you might not never get another chance to play in front of these people, you know what I mean. So, yep. you you got to turn up yep. the ten automatically, you know what I mean. Ain't no game of six, and I, I can go in the gym and show a highlight of me playing somebody else, you know what I mean. Dave Hawkins, Phil Goss, or somebody. Ain't no highlights like that floating around. This your time we get to see you. Show me what you got, you know what I mean. And I, yep. I think I think that separates us, you know what I mean, our era. Versus what it is now, you know what I mean? People living off highlights. We lived off our name that we made, created, and stood on in any gym we walk in. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So yes, that's sir. a salute, man. Yeah. That's a salute. That's why I know, I know, I, I think I, I, I feel it when you say it was surreal, man. Like to get named McDonald's because I was feeling like I was putting in the same work. We went thirty-one and zero, and nobody got named McDonald's on our team. You know what I mean? So I'm like. Hey man, like this some this some BS, you know what I mean? But I ain't tripping because it's, it's different stages to it. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta yeah. do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? And, and when you when you finally get that pat on the back, like you McDonald's, that puts you in a whole different tier. You know what I mean? You you in the first tier, like this, you top twenty, top twenty five people in the country, null and void. They don't even matter. You know what I mean? Who you yeah. guessing or anything? So talk about your yeah. recruiting process, Harlem. So Tennessee, man, was that me heavy? I know it. Tennessee. Chris Ferguson was say. asking me, dog. Chris Ferguson was asking me, what you know about John the Hawk? I'm telling him, hey man, get him. And we got two dogs. We had Tony Harris. <laughs> yeah. We had Tony Harris, who was an all SEC point guard, and Harris Walker backing him up. Who would have been all SEC if he had got the opportunity to play? And y'all both got a very, you and Harris Walker got a very similar story, man. He a dog, just like you, you know what I mean? A little, just a tad bit taller, but y'all bounce and everything. She's crazy. But I'm telling Fur, hey, man, if we got the chance to get them, get them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, I remember him saying, well, we, we, finna, we, finna go, we finna go after him. I said, well, y'all got my blessing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now y'all almost had me, too. Man, man. Oh, like, my y'all God. Y'all had me, man. I, Ah, y'all like because y'all had y'all, bro. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Y'all had y'all had a squad, man. Yeah. Y'all had a squad for real. And I think it was a couple more pieces that would have came mm-hmm. if I, I think I think if I would have signed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think we would have got one more piece that probably would have like like really did it. Yeah, really did. But yeah. man, I remember Tennessee sending me so much mail, man. I'm talking about I could not. I couldn't receive it all. Yeah. I was getting so much mail. Right. It was every time it was volunteer, volunteer. I opened up this orange and white, orange and white. Man, like they showed me the most love out of the SEC. Right. Straight up. That's real. Straight up. And it was a lot of schools recruiting me out of the SEC. Like um LSU, like, bro, a PL was going he was gonna throw me. <laughs> he was gonna throw me the bag yeah. for one year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I'm like, yo. But Tennessee just was—they was more like they ain't. 
Like, and they ain't never not once mentioned no money. Or nothing. It was just love, genuine love. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, what you gonna do? Come on out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would have came. I wish I would have came out there trying to see. Cause I, ain't, I I think I went to LSU. I went to LSU and I went to um. I think it, it was playing Tennessee. Yeah. I think it was Rohan, Rohan Davis. Yeah. Yep, that was a quarterback. Yep. And somebody, and somebody else. Yo, it was it was a heck of a game. I think Jamarcus Russ. Oh no, no, I want Jamarcus Russ. It was somebody else. Mm-hmm. But they had. I knew it was a black quarterback. Yeah. But bro, the recruiting process was crazy. Um. My senior year, I think I started putting in a lot of. I would not think I put in a lot of work, and it, like you said, it became noticeable. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it, it became to a liking to a school that I really wanted to go to in particular, um, yeah. Arizona. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, and um, I wanted to go to a lot of schools coming up, but my senior year, my mind was made up. My dream school was Arizona. Right. And it, it's just it's just crazy how everything you work so hard for can mm-hmm. go another another situation. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And and it's not even if you're doing it. It's like, bro, I worked so hard to get to that situation. Yeah. To where I can go to any school I wanted to. And I finally got that situation. I finally got that set up on it. And my mom denied me, man. She was like, yo, nah, I can't get to you out there. Yeah. She had something She had something up. She had something else in her yeah. cup, man. She had, right. she had some West Virginia colors in her cup. Right, right. She had Arizona. Right. And that jump, and that, and that, that just, that just, that. I think right there, that's when my career really, really, really started going. You know how your arrow is up, it's mm-hmm. peaking. Mm-hmm. I think it went, it went, it went, it went down. Yeah. It went down right there. And that's crazy. You would have been you would have been in Arizona in a Pac-12 conference, a guard heavy conference, like an up and down conference. Hey man. Woo! Com- that's com- all I needed. Y'all, oh, that's it. That's all I need. I need to get out in the open. I ain't need to be, I ain't need to be in the East Coast right. walking the ball up. Oh, they, right. they might push it down, your throat <laughs> in a run. No, no, I don't need that. Yeah. I need to be out in the open. I yeah. need to go where we going every night. Yeah. Every night. Yeah, y'all like this the whole time. Yeah, and it's open. The floor yes, so sir. open. Yeah. Damn. Spreading, spreading that joint out. Whoever open, you know I'm gonna kick it. Right. I'm get it. I'm right. gonna get it to you. I got to. Cause right. that's gonna open up everything I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. man, that it would have been a blessing. Yeah. And I, I, I got Luke. I got Luke to come out to North Carolina twice. He came to North Carolina twice. Really. Lou O's. He don't come to the East Coast. That's what I was just going to say. He, just he said the last time he like came that. before me, it was for Khalid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, 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 he told me all this mother, I don't come to these. Yeah. <laughs> that man came to see me twice yeah. at Mount Zion. Yeah. Golly. Ooh. That's, that's wild. Jay John, I got to call Slay. I got to call Jay John like this. Yeah, we can fly you out. I'm like, man, I'm gonna sign as soon as I can get off the plane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. This He's like, God, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm setting it up now. My mom said, call back and see if I can come. <sighs> man, look, <laughs> slave, that that killed the whole process right there. Yeah. Once Jay John said, he said, he see, he's like, yeah, let me call, let me check on it. He called me back. He was like, um. Oh, um, nah, she can't come in and be against the NCAA rules. I, I should have knew right there that they knew what they was doing. Yeah, they were going to talk about Mm-hmm. I should have knew right there, but me being green, mama's boy, yeah. I grew up under my mama, I ain't had no daddy. Yeah. All my dad, all my, my daddy was my brothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, what well, she said, go. Yeah, yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, it was law, man. It was law. She was like, nah, nah. I ain't even get a chance to go on a recruiting visit, man. Like, oh, to my dream school. Oh, that hurt. If you would have went on that visit, this whole that man, Jay John was. They was gonna sign. This is how Bantam. This that's how Bantam got in. Yeah. Bantam got in. Will Bantam got in, and then he wound up going to Georgia Tech, leaving after one year. Yeah. 
and then getting on. <clears throat> but both of them schools, both of them schools right there, it was it was Arizona, my dream school. Tennessee was at me hard. Georgia Tech was right neck to neck with Tennessee, but mm-hmm. they was this is like every day, every day it was something coming in the mid. Yeah. Every day, my mom got tired of signing for FedEx for like uh, packages. <laughs> it, was, it was just crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. She's like, something came in the mid. You got something in the mid. Something. And man, I'm trying to say, man, it was my my process was crazy. Man. Yeah, it was crazy. I right? because I had so many people. My brother had just died that my senior year high school. Mike, and he was the one that held. He was like the glue to the family. Right. And so when he passed, man, it's like ah, because that's the person I sit there. And, you know, I had my one on one. We would ride. You know. Everything mm-hmm. love. You ain't, you ain't got no I ain't got no words. Me and Brogan, we can talk it out. Right. He, he he was the man before he died. He was the man who was like, ah, I like West Virginia situation. And he liked the situation because it benefited him. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? In the long run, it helped it him. Yeah. There's a two you know one stone. Get his stuff back together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? As far as like <clears throat> getting his family back, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's, um, be, being being the man that everybody thought that he was, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he mm-hmm. he was still battling with debt, right? And so that 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 really really really, and by him wanting me to be a mountaineer, make my own name, you know what I'm saying? Right. It kind of, it kind of, it, it was a, it was a love hate. It was a love hate situation, man. It was like it could have been, it could have been a blessing, but it wound up being, you know what I'm saying? Wind up being a divorce. Yeah. It way early. Yeah. That's ugly. That's ugly. So you, yep. so you, you chose West Virginia. Rolled it out with West Virginia. I remember we played y'all that man, game. Had no choice, Slay. I yeah. had no choice. Yeah. I think I, that game, I don't yeah. even think I started that game. Nope, you didn't. I got in trouble. And, and the funny, no. And guess what? The crazy thing is, dog, you was the scouting report. Like, it wasn't no, dude, let everybody else go. And this is what Ferg, Ferg had that game. Coach Ferguson had that game. And I'm telling him and he telling him, hey, man, whatever you do, we can't let him get rolling. It's cool. Let everybody else, let somebody else go for 30, 40, and don't. Don't let him get rolling. So we practice different kind of defenses, everything all week. Then we get to the game and they highlight he ain't starting. We like, hold up. Now, really, we kind of at a loss because we like, what? We don't even know what to, what else to do. You know what I mean? I guess we're just gonna go hoop till he get in the game. You know what I mean? But dude, he was still ringing bells, man. It was still ringing bells at that time, dog. You know what I mean? So. You at West Virginia, man. You get down there and play us in Tennessee. Talk about your experiences, you know what I mean, through that first year of college. First year, man. The first the first couple games, it was it was like this. It was like this, man. Is this college, man? Is this is it gonna be like this forever? You know the first right. four games, they all they all like preseason games, they like um holiday tournaments and you know, and it's so almost like Thanksgiving right around the corner. So, you know, it's kind of like, man, you know, you're getting your feet wet. Mm-hmm. And while I was getting my feet wet, man, I was I was having like a a, a heck of a, a start of a, a college career. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I had highs of 30, um, 25. I think I hit 18 against y'all or something like that. Nope. So I was having some great games. And, um. And I think we just ran into a bump of the road where I think we ran out of I think we ran out of basketball. You know what I'm saying? I think we ran out of time. I think I think I think um the Big East, man, the Big East, the people don't know. Back then it was it was it was different. Yeah. It was different. Every, every night you had you had to you had to have a God willing to stop the other God. Right. Every night. You right. had you had to you had to bring, you had to be strong as only one of the biggies. Mm-hmm. And my brother didn't know what he was signing me up for. Right. I tried to tell him, I'm like, bro, we can go to this pack. <laughs> we can go to the pack and it, it, ain't, it ain't, 
You ain't, ain't we ain't got, got ain't got to work, work so hard as for a god. Exactly. You make me work every night, bro. Every night, yeah. make me work every night. Yeah. And these some of the quickest gods on earth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you got dudes, you got like Talik Brown, you got mm-hmm. Andre Bird, and you got Omar Cook. All mm-hmm. of them went to the Big East. So did, yep. All of them. And so then. When Omar, when Omar leaves St. John's, you got Marcus Had, another sure dude coming from Baltimore, yep. from the street. Yep. Yep. My brother ain't know. He ain't know. He had no, he had no idea how hard because he didn't come to the games. Right. He ain't never come to my games. He was, he was, he was taking care of what he had to do for his family, mm-hmm. but then try to, you know, you know, he wanted to act like he was. Yeah, in in the know. He was there, but he wanted the nigga in, the, in, the, in between the numbers. He, right. he wanted the hats. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? So he didn't know who was up and coming, who was waiting mm-hmm. for the sick and neck in or what. He ain't know that. Yeah, knowing it's a strategy he, he to place for a certain spot. In the, in the wrong street. Yeah. Yeah. In the wrong street, bro. Because I supposed to stay out in the West because my game was more suitable for the West. Yes, it was. You know what I'm saying? It was more let it fly, get them out in the open. Mm-hmm. Um, shoot from from mm-hmm. any range. Yep. Throw it up in the air. Pick and pop with your center. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like it was more. Oh, pro I game. More, it was a pro game. Yeah, yeah, I, exactly. Yep. And, and 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 I went to West Virginia. And I, I, now that I look at, it, I went and played an offense. Yeah. I went and played an offense where I was a pro. You yep. know what I'm saying? And and it just wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't the fit. Mm-hmm. And that John killed. That John, that, that one year. Yeah. That one year, is like the start of it, the start of we started off like, I think before we played, y'all, I think we were six and one or seven and one, mm-hmm. something like that, or six and two, or something like that. I know we was on the high end. I think we was, if not, I think we was undefeated. I think we had just, I think we had, yeah, we had just probably lost the game to Pepper Down, and that was the only game we had lost. Mm-hmm. And, and I think I ain't, I ain't saw that game because for the simple fact, we had lost the Pepperdine. And the next day, I ain't go to practice. <laughs> yeah. I ain't go to practice because, say, my team folded on me. We yeah. played a team full of brothers. Mm-hmm. We played a team full of brothers from, um, from, um, from Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Well collected, played together strong. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They played as a team, more gritty, more hungry. They ain't care about the biggies. They ain't mm-hmm. care about on our chest. Mm-hmm. They came in that joint and knocked us off on our home court. That, and that's and tough I to win up it. It's tough to win up I knew it. Yeah. I seen the tape. I said, these motherfuckers can play. Yeah. <laughs> these play. Yeah. Like, y'all can't come in here with this thing that they going to roll over. Right. And, it, and, and exactly what I said, bro, it happened. I'm throwing the ball to me. They they tight. They can't move. Yeah. They don't know. They don't want to. They can't take the bump. They don't want to get to the man. Look, the whole game. I'm frustrated. I can't <laughs> wait. I'm like, I can't wait to tell these cats how I feel. Yeah. Y'all see it, man. Y'all come on, man. Yeah. And then y'all ain't setting no picks. Hey, y'all let them come in there. Oh, no, I'll live it the whole 24 hours. I ain't even go to practice. Yeah. So when I so when I do go to the gym. Is at the tail in the practice. I go straight up in the office. We go straight up in the office. They like, well, what's up? What you doing today? Like, what? Man, I'm I'm ready to look, I'm ready to put in my transfer. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, look, man, this ain't what I signed up for. Man. Right. This is not what I signed up for. And then from there on out, it was nothing but like I hit a buzzer beat or two or whatever after that. But man, mm-hmm. it was, it was, it was, it was pure hate. Mm-hmm. From from the jump, right? From the jump, right? From the jump, you know what I mean? It was a lot of people that that love me being there, but people don't even know what I like. Man, I had to, I couldn't even go out. Mm-hmm. If I went out, I had to worry about a, a somebody calling me raised. I mean, a nigga yeah. calling me on um, like this was West Virginia. My brother ain't know he ain't, he ain't know what he was signing me up. Right? He ain't know. Right? He ain't know and. I think by us having that type of year we had starting off so hot and then we end off never like one one out of nineteen. We go one out of nineteen. That's tough. The worst that's the worst record I have ever had. I have never been on a losing streak like that. So yeah. I of course I'm a freshman. 
I'm the highest, I'm the highest um, rated fr- uh, freshman they've ever had since Jerry West. Mm-hmm. I get all the blame. I shouldn't even been starting Slay. I shouldn't even. I shouldn't even. I wasn't supposed to start none that season. Right. Tim Lyles. Tim Lyles was supposed to be the starter. Tim Lyles. He catch an ACL. Mm-hmm. He catch an ACL injury. I get the nod, but I wasn't supposed to start none that year. Yeah. Yeah. I won't even. I was I was supposed to sit back and learn the process. Right. I never got I got thrown. I got thrown into the wolves. Yeah. Everything got blamed on me. This the reason that he getting money that he man, I won't get none of that stuff. Yeah. I won't they said man, they, one one story I heard, they said my mom had a jag and she was driving it around <laughs> campus. Your mama down there on said, campus man, in the jag. Man, I said, what, what is Jag at? Because I like to ride around. Hell yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Let what me ride Jag too. At, man? What are you talking about? <laughs> man, don't get it twisted though, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? My brother and Chris, they had a they had an agreement, man. They had an arrangement mm-hmm. for themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? And they were supposed to help my mom, you know. But like me, if I was gonna take some money, I would have took LSU deal. Right. To be honest, right. I was getting eighty thousand. I was supposed to get eighty thousand dollars from LSU if I would have chose to go there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if I was gonna take any money, that was the money I should have took. And right. I, well, I, well, I went to school. I went to West Virginia. Mm-hmm. So I, my mom and my brother, I think the deal was every year I'm there, I get twenty thousand dollars. My family get it. Mm-hmm. You know, the deal was between. He's still coaching now, and yeah. I don't care because. You right. know, he ain't pay up, he ain't pay my family all the money, so I'm gonna put his ass out. Right, right. It is what you it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So his name Chris Cheeks. He mm-hmm. know the deal was he was supposed to pay my mama twenty thousand dollars. Now right. he get mad because I got another another agency that wanna do due diligence mm-hmm. and wanna do good about it and making sure I'm straight because I signed to go to West Virginia and that bag ain't looking right. Right. That bag was light. Right. So he get mad because I got somebody else over here that's making sure I'm good, and so he starts. He, the bread stopped. The bread yeah. it, it won't no twenty. I got my mama got five thousand dollars of a twenty thousand dollar postman old toy. I got a thousand dollars out of that junk. Yeah, I got a busted knee from going to West Virginia. They ain't even finished. They posted. They went. We went to a specialist in Pittsburgh. Yeah, three to four times to talk to this dude to set up for this surgery. Soon as West Virginia denied and kicked me out of school, they they said they won't do no surgery. And so I'm gonna be like this. Did I win in that situation? Right. Hell no. no I lost all the way and I got denied to play NCAA basketball forever. Right. And so now, now they they about to start, they about to start letting people get paid for their name. And then you know I can't wait for everybody to go ahead and just say, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. I can't because that's my lawsuit. Yep. You know, how you going to kick me out of school? And then you got other two people that was in the same predicament, but y'all let them pay money back and let them come back to school. Mm-hmm. But you kick me out of school indefinitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's ugly. And now y'all about to start, NCAA, y'all about to start again. Y'all about to let the athletes get paid off their names. That's ugly. Oh uh, man, yeah. like I got a, I got a, I got a mean case on my hand. Yeah. I'm just waiting on the state of West Virginia to go ahead and okay. Yeah. If they, if they okay, if they okay, it, I'm, I'm, I'm at their neck. Yeah, running to the door with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm at their neck. You and think Sonny, you think Sonny Vaccaro got paid? <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna try to shoot. I'm gonna try to shoot for the moon. Uh, yeah, most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. All right, man, because that's that's my NBA career. Yeah, like, that's fine. That's fine. I, I was, I was fifteen and four as a freshman. Mm-hmm. I got three more seasons to play. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm fifteen and four. Yeah, you need that. I can I can upgrade every season. Yeah, and then with the, and then I got Kevin. I put the phone down, on. They got they got Kevin Pipsonago. She so the next year. Due to me, yeah, he, I was the dude that recruited him for real. Like you know, when you bring him on campus, mm-hmm. like 
You got, you, got you? Run, you got somebody off the team. Man, look, me and Pissing out, we went to go hoop. We went to go hoop. I got to see this dude pick and pop. I said, no, sign, dog, because yeah. I'm going to be here next year. Yeah. And I can use you. I can use, I say I can use you right now. Right. Right. <laughs> Most well, definitely. Bro, no. Nah, we went to go play pick and pop. <laughs> and I got a chance to see Pistonago shoot before anybody in the Big East. Before any, I, I got a chance to see it. He got a flame though. He letting them all go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he will tell you, bro. I, I seen that jump from jump. Yeah, that boy can that boy can shoot the lights out the ball. Yeah, and then I'm coming off the other end. Man, what? Yeah, it's serious. What? Yeah, I had to have him. I yeah. had to have him, man. It's just like I said, man. West Virginia owe me that bag, man. Yeah. See, oh, I never knew that. Come. I never knew that, man. I just thought. I just thought. Damn, he he finna he finna go on to go to the league. That's real. I was like, damn. Okay. You know what I mean? See, we didn't even we didn't even get that word because shit, ain't no social media or nothing like that at, at that time. Internet ain't popping like that or nothing. So, damn. So you decided to go on to go in the draft? Yeah, I went ahead and put my neck at John because I felt like man, fifteen and five in the Big East as a freshman. I was like, man, that's, tough. that's impressive numbers, but but I ain't I ain't have a winning season. That was my only thing. Mm-hmm. And then what killed me? I ain't go to no. I ain't go to no uh, what's the little pre-draft yeah. joints. I ain't go to no workouts. I ain't work out with nobody. Like it was just like my my representation was not well put together right. man, for some that was in the top ten that should have been in the league. Yeah, and I'm gonna be real. Like I'm gonna be real no, hard. Once you get no God, this is what I always tell my partners, man. Once you get in the door, especially they lace the door for you by getting you in the McDonald's game. You kind of like that ain't guaranteeing you in the league, but you 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 in you in the lobby, you know what I mean? Like you yeah. in the lobby, they know who yep. you are, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's hard to kind of throw that away, you know what I mean? So that's why I was like, damn, like that that gotta happen. So how did you how did you miss camps, uh, workouts, and in there? So this this was the this was the thing. I was so destruct, bro, by the, the year at West Virginia. Man, I just go home and just just try to recoup and 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 and, and wish. Right. Like I, I'm in the house just wishing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I hope they call my name. Like mm-hmm. I, I just hope. I hope they call me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm. I remember watching the draft, bro. I'm not even at the draft. I remember just watching the draft. My name ain't get called. Yeah, you know, I mean, I watched that joint thoroughly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But my name ain't get called because ain't don't nobody know exactly. I'm even in the draft. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's ugly. So the representation on there, man, and and that's another thing I tell kids, man. Like y'all, y'all want to go to the league, man? You gotta know the ins and out, the process. You gotta know what you're doing. Thanks. I'm saying like and what you doing it for. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And so that's facts. That's that facts. was the process. And that was the I think that was the real reason why I ain't go to the league, man. Yeah. Oh, it won't it wasn't because of my talent, won't cause I was trying to do other things. I think at that time when I was serious about playing sports and, and making it a profession, mm-hmm. I think my representation wasn't well put together. Right. And I, man, I, I can feel it, man. I, I went undrafted, man, and I, I remember, I, I'm, I'm saying this story because I'm going to ask you at the end, like, what did you feel like? You know what I mean? I remember getting undrafted and when I felt like I put the work in, I got to go to the camps and all that. You know what I mean? Killed that Chicago. You know what I mean? And shit, I, Miami was promising to draft me, this, that, and the other. I'm like, man, all right. And then I'm thinking, Man, I, I made All American. You know what I mean? And SEC Player of the Year. I, all right, this, this is in the toughest conference. I know it's. I know it's got to happen. It might be second round, but shit, I know it's got to happen. And I remember when I didn't get drafted, went through summer league, all that, and still didn't get no guarantee. You know what I mean? Miami tried to give me a partial, and I wasn't. I wasn't on no partial. I was, my pride wouldn't let me sign no partial. I was like, man, y'all got to give me a guarantee. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was stupid by me. If I would have been knowing the right. Thing I would take that pause and get your foot in the door, 
And then shit, you know what I mean? Another team pick you up or something. Don't even worry about that. But pride was hurt. So after that was over, I was like, man, fuck it, man. I'm, man, give me anything. You know what I mean? I went overseas immediately just to get away from America. You know what I mean? Everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. People asking, what happened? I got tired of all that shit, man. I was like, I'm gone, man. So I went over to Turkey my first year. You know what I mean? It got my mind back together. You know what I mean? And even though they wasn't paying me on time and shit like that, you know what I mean? I was still like, I'm away. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm over here, and by the time I get back, you know what I mean? Summer League will be back around, and people beat up for God, and I can go on and move on. So what was your mind, Frank, like once that, once you didn't get drafted? It was like back to the drawing board, man. It was mm-hmm. like um, my first thought was free agent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but like I say, representation, man, it was mm-hmm. not, it, was, it wasn't together, like, I didn't get in front of no team before and after. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The draft. And <clears throat> that kind of hurt. Then, um, like, being that I had a name, I didn't use my resources like I should have, man. Um, I had a couple people that, that could have helped me out along the way. Right. And by me not using my resources and not using my brain at the time. And then just thinking, I was very – I wasn't thinking like a like a, like a a professional. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I like like – like um like I got Terry Davis, I got Charles Oakley, Ben Wallace, like them names right there, they can make a one call. You know what I'm saying? Easy. And and I didn't and I didn't Corey Alexander. Um mm. See, yeah. it was just it like it's one phone call type of people, man, that that could help you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I didn't Johnny Newman. Right. You know what I'm saying? And these people, these people that I know. You know what I'm saying? If I would have reached out to them and went to, went to them with a good head on my shoulders, would they? I know for a fact they would have out. Right. And, and that just and, and the situation would have been a little different. People don't know that they can put themselves in a in a situation where they don't have to play all their cards, and they can, you know what I'm saying? Make the they can make the deck a lot easier for themselves. You know right. what I'm saying? But I didn't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that come with growing. And that come with learning and. and and making a few mistakes and, and, and experience, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And so, mm-hmm. man, that's that that was. I think that was my biggest biggest aspect. The why things ain't go right, you know what I'm saying? With with me in the league, man. I, and I I totally agree with that, man. I was I was put in a position, man. Where I, this, man, this is just me being dumb, man. And people around me at that time that I looked up to, like you were saying, like Mercer, um, really Ron Mercer. You know what I mean? He could have, I could have reached out to him similar to you and. He could have showed me the ropes, you know what I mean? But I had it in my in the palm of my hand. I was working out with John Lucas, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I remember John Lucas telling me, hey, man, I was, I'm down there working out in Houston, and I remember him telling me, um, I'm like, hey, man, my mama having a little get-together at the Boys and Girls Club for the, for the draft, you know what I mean, this, that, and the other. I'm going to go home, watch it, this, that, and the other, you know what I mean? He was like, and I remember him telling me, like, man, you don't need to go down there. You just... Keep your head down and keep on working down here with me, and I got you. And but me, you know, what I mean, my mama, like I'm, I'm like, man, this is is, you know, I'm coming from a single parent home, man. You know, what I mean, the oldest self, I'm like, man, this is as much for me as it is for her. You know, what I mean, so I got to give her a little something. You know, what I mean, like I'm gonna go down here, whatever happened. You know, what I mean, it happened. You know, what I mean, but at the same time, I'm also thinking, man, they gonna call my name. You know what I mean? So I ain't prepared yeah. myself what's going to happen if they don't call my name. They don't call my name, you know what I mean? And I, The worst mistake of my life is not going back down there with Lucas. He told me yeah. after, man, come on back down here. Now, mind you, this man is on the phone. We working out three or four times a day and all day long, probably out of an eight-hour workout, two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours. This man on the phone Minimum, and I ain't bullshitting, at least three of the hours out of the eight. Talking to GMs, coaches, presidents, owners, everything. And I ain't realizing that my stupidity as a youngin, like, I'm just still thinking, mm-hmm. man, I'm all American. <laughs> I'm, and not only just all American and barely, man, I led the toughest conference in the, in the nation in scoring. Like, come on, man, y'all ain't finna tell me that shit. You know what I mean? Instead of being like, man, let me go back down here. And I guarantee I would have got on. And, he t- and the, the other good thing is he took a liking to me. 
You know what I mean? Like, I'm staying yeah. in this man's house. You know what I mean? And then when I ain't staying, I got my apartment. It's me, Lil John Lucas, and uh, Brandon Knight. We all all staying at the same apartment. You know what I mean? Like, every single day. Like, I'm in. I'm in. Like, and I ain't even realizing everybody don't get to do this. And I don't even, honestly, I don't even think I was paying him. I don't even think my agent then was paying him. He was doing this off the strip, and he took a liking to me. I ain't realizing none of this shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I, I that, that, was, that was my worst mistake, man, not tapping into their resources. That's why I'm so, like you just said, when I'm talking to kids, man, I'm so hard hit on, man, you got to tap into your resources, man. You know what I mean? And, and, and it, it, it kills me, man, when they don't, dog, because I know what I've missed. Like, it's, I promise you, it's no way possible that I miss an opportunity in a league if I go back down to Houston. Now, anything else, I would have had a trick off on my own. You know what I mean? And that's cool. Yeah. But that would have been on me. You know what I mean? Like, that man was going to put me right there in the door, man. And the motherfucker missed that, man. Like, I, that, was, that was silly. You know what I mean? That was silly. And it don't take nothing but a split decision like that to derail you, and you go in a whole different way. You know what I mean? So No question. That was my thing. No so talk about, talk about after that, man. I see you went and did a bid, now you back home. You know what I mean? Talk about that time, you know what I mean? Your time to reflect on where you are now today, your thoughts. Oh, yeah, man. I had a, I had a nice little time to get my mind right. Four years, eight months <laughs> yeah. to be exact. Yeah. Um, well, I went in two, well, 2009. Mm-hmm. I came out 2013, man, January. Right. So, man, I had a lot of time to reflect on what it was I wanted to do and, and how I needed to clean up my life. Um. First day out, man, I got with my kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got with my kids. I got I got three kids. Um little Jonathan wasn't born yet, but I was um I just started working on him as soon as I came home. Um, <laughs> I had two little girls though. Okay. I had Nala. She's she's twenty one now and I had Jayla. Okay. Jayla is fourteen now. And um Yeah, Jayla fourteen. And as soon as I got out, man, I, I went and got my kids. Showed them how much I love them and missed them. Right. And they, they threw me a little surprise party, man. My friends did. It was um at a restaurant. And, you know, I got to see a lot of people that I thought, you know what I'm saying, forgot, you know what I'm saying, about me. Because four years, man, eight months, I ain't hear from none of these people. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't see. I ain't, you know, I ain't, it was it was people I thought that, you know, and, and it was just like, it was crazy. Because while I was down, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. I had an interview while I was down. And it was in the jail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? ESPN, I think now Slam, I did a jail, I did an interview in it was Slam in the jail. And then I did one with the news channel around um around Richmond, Virginia. Mm-hmm. And the joint popped, man, like and a lot of people was like, I ain't even know you was down, like ain't but you won't you won't check in either. Like right. <laughs> but I don't I don't hold it, I don't hold it when people don't I don't, I don't get all mad and people ain't do this, do that. I, I you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't one of them people like that, that mm-hmm. that's gonna hold that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I believe in nigga, you did the crime, do the time, mm-hmm. or if, if you know what I'm saying? If 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 it's shoe fit, man, you gotta you gotta wear it. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is with me, man. I ain't, you know, I don't look for no love from any and everybody anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. And that's just what it was in there, man. That that time had me a lot of time, gave me a lot of time to get my my wits up, get my smarts up, mm-hmm. get my uh get my body together, yeah. Uh, reflect on who I was, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And um, like interviews really helped, man. Like, cause it was closer to my release date, mm-hmm. and so it, it, it and so it was a lot of the interviews was it was it was reflecting about my book, right. You know what I'm saying, and and I'm supposed to be coming out with an autobiography, and the documentary. That's what me and Bates, you know, oh, yeah. we're working. You know what I'm yeah. saying, we working. So, so with that being said, man, like I've been, I've been in the lab, man. I've been waiting for these days a long time, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a long time. So, it, it, it like that's that's what I was working on, like like these days. Yeah. I was working on for these days, um, preparing my. Helping kids with my talent so they won't make the same mistake that I did. Right. Um, 
know know the difference between being patient. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not rushing the bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and like when you try to rush it and and, and and think that success is instant, you know, that's when a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, don't go your way. Right. But if you be patient and let God lead, let it just fall, let it let it let the chips all just fall down, man. Mm-hmm. Like it works out better. No doubt. It works out better for everybody. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Didn't, and I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's real. So I, 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 the shirt you got on basketball saved my life. Um, I think a lot of kids nowadays, especially man, um, need to take heed to that. You know, what I mean, use that as a vehicle to get you through different, different avenues. You know, what I mean, because man, that like we were faced with a lot of things, man. I'm gonna be honest. You know, what I mean, we was faced with a lot of things, and I think. Blowing, you know what I mean? That, that Some of the biggest things we had was smoking weed and drinking. Let's just put it out there. You know what I mean? In college, we finna get high. You know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm blowing it down. You know what I mean? I'm drinking heavy. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But I, it ain't affecting my, my work either, though. You know what I mean? So that was cool. Nowadays, these kids, man, they got way more to navigate through. You know what I mean? They, they popping these pills. You know what I mean? And then they getting these man-made pills. Then they popping the upper trying to come down, you know what I mean? Some of them lace with the fentanyl, you know what I mean? They, they, man, they, they, they hitting them, they ain't waking up. I know I know a junk. He don't want it unless it's fitting off. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, like, this, he, he, he trying to meet his maker. Yeah, he trying huh. to meet, like, it's crazy, man. Yeah. It's just a different era. Like, we can function. We can go hit a brew mm-hmm. and, and hit an L mm-hmm. and go on the court and play 10 games. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying, and, and and do it all again tomorrow. Right. And, and, Don't and, do it. And, and do it again next week. Yeah. And and it'll never our our impact on the game will never fall off because we got that love. Right. We got that. Man, these kids can't. They can't repeat. They cannot. They don't like repetition. Exactly. They don't like getting better exactly. each and every day. They don't like the same stuff on the daily. They don't like doing the same stuff. Facts. You know what I'm saying, but. If it's if it gets you to fame, if it gets you to the to the bread you want, why not? Why not do? No, but no so, a lot of kids, like I said, repetition. Mm-hmm. They 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 do not like it. See, we'll get up and that that's that's why a lot of us are successful. Mm-hmm. We'll get up and go play right. every single day. Right. We'll get up and go run the court, do something that we love, whatever yep. it is that you love. We'll get up and go do it. Yep. You know what I'm saying, and that and that that's the difference. Yeah. That's the big difference right now. Yeah, and I think that's big, man. You touched on patience, man. Like I was also telling kids, like it's a lot of nuggets we can take. We gonna take out of this at the end, man. But like that patience, you know, you ain't gotta get that scholarship offer, man, in your freshman year. You know what I mean? Your sophomore year, your junior. Year. It don't take number one time or one school for you to get school paid for. And the way. The internet is now with social media, everybody get to see it. You know what I mean? Not only do we get to see it on our phones, but if you got sports center, they got top 10 plays with a high school kid. You know what I mean? In Knoxville, Tennessee, or, you know what I mean? Somewhere in North Dakota, like, you can't miss. You know what I mean? If you got the patience, you tap in your resources, and you ride it out, man. You, you can't miss and do what you're supposed to do. You can't miss, man. You can't miss. Yeah. Man. Definitely. Man, Hogan, I, I appreciate the love you showed, man, jumping on here. Anything you want to leave leave the viewers with, man, it, like, I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's a, you got a lot, a lot of love down here, man. And You know what I mean? One day soon, man, within the next year, I'm getting you down here to speak, dog. So, stay. I'm, I'm going to stay tapped in with you, dog. And anything I can help, I can do to help, dog. Let me know. You know what I mean? I, I heard you talking about the book. I got a book coming out. It should be coming out in the spring. Same thing about my life all the way up to at the end of college, you know what I mean? And then it'll be a second book uh, for the pro-life and then afterlife, you know what I mean? So um, anything I can do to help, man, you let me know. But any words of wisdom you got for the viewers or the kids or anything, man, before we, we wrap it up? Oh, man, um, I just want to say thank you, man, for real, man. I appreciate it. Um, I remember the first time, man, I seen you play. I remember the first time I watched your game and I seen you and, and then I played against you. I was like, yo, if I ever get a chance to get a shot, I'm going to try it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And 
I don't know how I got you, man, but I, I always snuck you from behind. I always <laughs> had to get you from behind because, bro, don't nobody know how good you – you and Travis was exceptionally good in the post. Bro. Yeah. So if, if you if you got a chance to lay it up, nine times out of ten, it was going in. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, I got to sneak him if I get him because yeah. Kenny and them ain't going to do it. Booker and them ain't going to – Right. Man, he killing God. He killing all of them. I got to try to get him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And – Bro, I just looked. I just the reason why I say that, bro. You you bring you brought out all y'all, Cliff, all y'all, Steve. Y'all brought out so much competitiveness in me, man. Like for real, man. Like the whole I, the whole Mount Zion game, the whole chase. And I hate to reiterate it, but it just that's what it's it just, is. It was y'all don't people don't know how good y'all were. Mm -hmm. Y'all were a great team, right? You know what I'm saying? Like everybody can shoot the three. Mm -hmm. Y'all just was a great team, man. And people don't know that. And so I'm like, I had a, a lot of individual individual athletes, but people don't know how much I love playing this team ball, mm -hmm. this game. You know what I'm saying? And I get kudos when it's due. Right. And damn it, y'all, y'all, y'all was the due. I appreciate Y'all, y'all had that shit, man. For real, for real. And we was we was looking up to y'all, man. Y'all y'all was big brother. We was little brother. Y'all yeah. was Jordan. We was Adidas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just I'm I'm set I'm setting the narrative. I'm, I'm, I'm setting it down so people can understand what it was early in the game. Right. So so when people can look back and hear this and be like, yo, back then it was like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. People were sponsored by Jordan. Right. We were sponsored by Adidas. Right. People knew it was NBA money on the time, on the flow already. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it was with us. That's facts. And that, and that, and that whole earth, that that's whole facts. earth, man. So it's nothing but love, man. I appreciate you bringing me out, man. It could have been anybody. You could have had anybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, Wagner, you could have had yeah. Ford, you could have had anybody, Mo, yeah. but you got hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and 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 I know where I came from. Man, I came from a long line of basketball, from mm -hmm. a lot of errors and a lot of experience, and I speak on it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And every day, every day, man. Um, Amari, uh, for Amari, I to say I'm the best point guard that he ever played with. Right. And he done played with Steve Nash, a Hall of Famer. Yeah. You know, man, that's I, I ain't trying to. I'm not trying to boost myself or nothing. It's just speak of facts. That huh? let me know that I help a lot of people along the way as well as they help me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about, man. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. That's how we even here today, cause cause of basketball. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's how we even came together. No, you know what I'm saying? So that's right. This y'all saved my life. That's real. Definitely. That's real. Definitely. Hey, man, I salute you, man. I oh, always stay ten, too, toes, 10 toes down, being 100 every time I done ran across you. And just like you think that, you know what I mean, I could have went and got anybody. Hey, man, I wanted you. You know what I mean? Like, I try to do relate uh, 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 interviews and stuff with people that I got relationships with, you know what I mean, to try to build on that, man, and people that I've really known and seen that really, really, like, people use the words, got it out the mud, you know what I mean? But you come from a two-parent household. You got all the games you want. These are people that really got it out the mud. You know what I mean? You one of the ones that really got it out the mud. You feel me? And yes, I salute to that. You know what I mean? Especially knowing your story, your journey, dog, and how you gonna bounce back to where you are today. That that could have went either way, man. You know what I mean? We ain't got to, yeah. neither one of us ain't got to be here today talking about this in 2020. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's plenty of plenty of times where, you know what I mean, we could have been thrown away, you know what I mean, dead even. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? This is a salute to that man. Keep your head there, high home, and I ain't just saying it because we on here. It's a lot of people to look up to you, man. A lot of people to look up to. Yes, you, sir. You know what I mean? If they don't know, yes, sir. Shout out to the shout out to the ten, man. Shout out to the ten, man. I love, love the ten, you, too, man. I love y'all, man, for real. No doubt, man. It's salute, yeah. dog, and I'm gonna be in touch with you, homie. Appreciate you. Already, champ. Love, love, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, man. That's my man, Jonathan Hargett, man. You know what I mean? I felt that was a, 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 a great interview. You know what I mean? Thorough, organic, you know what I mean? Heartfelt. And you know what I mean? Didn't hold no punches. You feel me? So um, 
that's everything I was looking for. You know what I mean? Somebody to be transparent. And yeah, I think he was. And I think one of the things you got to figure out, um, if you don't know his story, go read on his story. You know what I mean? He shared a lot with you. You know, so I think one of the biggest things you got to take out is being patient. You got to be patient, man, whether it is uh, um, looking for fast money, whether it's looking for uh, um, immediate success, whether it's, it's looking for the gratification on social media where it comes from likes or whatever it may be. That's not what it's about. You know what I'm saying? The, the perseverance, the tapping into the resources, the staying 10 toes down, the loyalty that you show. That's what it's about. Being that man can walk in any room, man. He still got a Mars out of my way raving about him. KD, Carmelo Anthony, KD heard about him. You know what I mean? Melo rave about him. I rave about him. Like, you know, it, it, it's different, man. When you can go from state to state, state to state, gym to gym, room to room, and walk in that room with your head held high and you be held to a different standard, that's different. That's what you want. That's the respect you want on your name. You know what I'm saying? That, that's it right there. When you can do that, you know you done left a legacy and you know you done left a name that you can always stand on. And I salute Jonathan Hardy, man. I appreciate him coming on. Man, that, that, that was big time to me, man. You know what I mean? That, that was huge. You know, because I, I remember him as a sophomore coming through. I was a senior. You know what I mean? And it's always been love. Then ran across him in Tennessee. So it, 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 it's, it's love, man. Um, Real quick before we get out of here, man, let me let me let me slank shameless plug. 1308 underscore forever Instagram. Get at my man for your juices, detoxing, smoothies, whatever it may be. Get at him, man. He's gonna, he gonna get you right. His name is Dokes. That's his Instagram. Slide into his DM. Hit him up. Guide and inspire vibrating energy. That's the name of the company. That's that's what he'll that's what he'll provide you with. So y'all get at him, man. That's that's a that's a guy that's he, got, he, he know what he's doing with it, man. So meal replacements, all that stuff, man. Get at them. Also, this right here, go subscribe, man. Go like it. Go comment it. Go tag it. Go share it with a friend. Ron Slay on YouTube. Go back and see all the interviews that we said we've done in the past and also the ones that you may have missed. Watch them. Um, soon we're going we're gonna to be able to get onto podcasts, and I'm going to convert them to podcasts, put them on Apple iTunes so you can get them on now. But for right now, you go on YouTube, get to it, and that's going to be there for you. So go to YouTube, search Ron Slate, click the subscribe button to follow. That easy. Um, definitely, Lee, we definitely got to pay some bills. <laughs> we definitely got to pay some bills, Lee. Um, you know what I mean? And don't forget, man, in the spring, it's coming out. It's coming out of Slate Ride, making a couple little different touches on it, man, Elaborate, elaborating on a few more stories. Um so a sleigh ride, the journey of a legend, Ron Slay, um, by myself. Um, this is a look into my life, man, from birth all the way to college to when I left, getting ready to go pro. Lock in with me. I promise it's some, it's some, some good stories. Going to be able to take a lot of nuggets out of here. It's for parents. It's for kids. Um, for all the above, athletes and everything. So tap into that with me. And that's what we got, man. Stay tuned, man. Nick, not next Sunday, but the Sunday after next. We have another guest on here. So hopefully, Angela House, if you're listening, Carolyn Aldrich, one of y'all got to step up to the plate. The people want to hear your story. Don't forget, we got the shirts in. The smalls and the mediums will be in this week. You get the Boom Boom Room shirt with Ron Slay. Hit me up on the DM, Ron Slay35 on Instagram, on Twitter, Ron Slay35 on Facebook, uh, Ron, the Boom Boom Room35 on Instagram. Hit me up, man. Get your shirts. Shirts $35 a pop. Like my man Phil said, we got to pay some bills. Be on the lookout. Winter Circle coming to you very, very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Stand tuned with me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, man, I'll see y'all on Sunday after next. Enjoy your Sunday. And don't forget, man, believe in God, believe in yourself. I'm out of here. It's the Boom Boom Room with Ron Slay. People, we are gone.